If you own a Kindle, you have to learn about this trick. As you know, if you go to Amazon to download your eBooks, you have to pay for pretty much all of them. But what many people don't realize is that they could get a majority of the books there for free if they just knew where to look. So I'm here to help you save a bunch of money. Let me show you how this super simple trick works. Let's say for example you want to read the amazing classic from Jane Austen, Pride and Prejudice. Now normally what you would do to download that to your Kindle is that you go to Amazon, you choose the Kindle store, you type in Pride and Prejudice and there you have it for $3.99. And you're thinking to yourself, well $3.99 for one of the best books of all times, that's a fair price, right? But let me ask you this, if you had the opportunity, wouldn't you rather get it entirely for free? Obviously, most people would agree with me that free is even better than pretty cheap. And this is where the loophole comes into play. See, the thing that you have to realize about books and that you might not be aware of is that 70 years after the author dies, those books become public domain. Which means that any book of any author 70 years after their death basically is available entirely for free. Now of course bookstores still don't hand out those books for free and neither do big internet companies like Amazon. Basically what they do is that they hope you are gullible enough to pay your $3.99 in their Kindle store instead of heading to another website which is completely legal where you would get the same book for free. So instead of buying Pride and Prejudice on Amazon.com we will head to another website called Gutenberg.org. This is a website that stores more than 60,000 books, all of them being public domain, which means that they are all available for free and legal. So if we type in Pride and Prejudice, we get a couple of different versions. Let's click on this one, for example, and then you see there's a bunch of different formats in which we can download this ebook. If we choose to download it as a Kindle format, all we have to do is click on it and the download will start instantly. There's no sign up needed. Obviously, you don't have to pay for anything. That was the whole premise of this video. So there you go. I just saved you $3.99. And obviously this trick does not only work for Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice, it works for literally every book that is public domain, meaning that the author died more than 70 years ago, which if you think about it is really almost any book, at least any of the classics. If you're curious what other kind of gems you might be able to find on Project Gutenberg, here's just a short collection of my personal favorites. There are of course a lot more and in fact there are also more websites that offer public domain books. If you're interested in finding out what those other websites are, I actually made a video about it and you can find it right up here. And by the way, if you like this video and you feel happy that I showed you a way of saving $3.99 every time you download a book, then maybe consider subscribing to my channel for getting more tips just like this one in the future. For now, thank you so much for watching and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Oh,